nice refreshing take on things, wouldn't you agree? <coughs> that liquid death, I'm telling you. It does is. I'm telling you, that liquid death, the water, you know, it'll weather away even stone. That's how you know. It's serious and it means business. Uh, okay, so anyway, trying to uh, see anything in this mask, by the way, is like impossible. And after I had it on and been talking for about 20 seconds or something like that, I basically have the equivalent, I guess, of what you would call like a, I don't know, a panic attack or something. Yeah, so anyway, this is kind of difficult, but, you know, 99 cents can't beat it. Um, Alright, so, uh, I'm going to try to do this. It's going to look really weird when I finally put it all together. Alright, so, Zimbardo. Um. These Zim and the rest of the world. These Zimbardos, I call them. Okay. Uh, the thing about them is, uh, you know, they're meant to teach you all the mind of a true leader. Okay. who, against all odds, does the impossible and guides his people to do heroic opportunity instead of criminal and ambitious gains. To be clear, I don't make them obey. And, you know, so we're clear on that. There's always been one rule in dealing with Soviets. Do not mess with their commander. I am the commander, and I have been messed with. But who has messed with? The commander. Well, that is the evil motivator to do heroic things. Alright, so, here it is. Zimbardo, the evil motivator that makes me want to do heroic things, or whatever, take the opportunity. <sighs> this applies to, like, this applies to, like, more than one person, okay? The motivator is this. Frame job artists have thoroughly run their course through retirement. Of every major investigative body of the government. And its accountability offices, including Treasury, Texas Rangers, DEA, Homeland, CIA, DOD, and FBI. And there is one rule that they all violated repeatedly, which is don't mess with the Soviet commander. Because the Soviet commander is trying to make people behave in a positive manner. And the Soviet commander, myself, is essentially 
the head of an intelligence cartel if I am a bad guy. So, if you attack me, then it upsets other people, and they see this. So, I have been forced out due to these hostilities into taking, as best I can, heroic action. But, people underestimate me because I'm a retard with half a brain, and I'm not the right race. Or something like that. It doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that it's who I am, not what I do. A great leader doesn't necessarily need to rule from the top. They can rule from the bottom by setting a positive example. The cards I have been dealt with, the people that I have, and their peculiarities and their sordid and bad histories, uh, doesn't define who they want to be. And my people have been kept in a bad rap while being agitated by the people that I have mentioned, these evil motivators. What turns people evil? Well, I mean, in my case, you could uh, read a book that's called uh, The Medical Effects of Chemical Warfare. And, you know, you gotta understand this. And that it's far more expansive than that. It's far more expansive than that. It's far more expansive than that. Uh, in order to understand uh, my evil motivators in relation to the frame job artists, the, the dirty police, the dirty government agents. Uh, you know, 30 years or more of influencing law enforcement to be suspicious of people who aren't law enforcement and uh, attack them is a, uh, a, a serious problem. And because now these law enforcement, because of these influence of these intelligence people, uh, are, are attacking their own citizens and agitating them and then taking their reflected agitations as criminal behaviors or if they decide that they can make money in an intelligence value then claim that they are a threat to national security and then the law enforcement pay or the information uh, to rat on their neighbors and turns the population against its own good governments. So you can't teach law enforcement and they can't figure out in the courts. That is the, the, the main problem. Oklahoma here has stood its ground uh, recently and uh, uh, is paying attention to the influence of the federal government on its citizens. But most other places uh, in the United States are not. So uh, I wanted to uh, talk about this uh, Avengers initiative. It was a fictitious idea. However, it is not anymore. The Avengers, the Revengers, these are ideas from, uh, uh, from various different uh, facets of uh, society's heroic imagination, if you will. 
I call it my own thing that I'm talking about in reference. But it is uh, uh, a nice thing that's uh, occurred, but it just hasn't... There's, there's no technology behind it. It's all fantasy. Or so you might assume. But then again, I really am the Soviet known as Loki, and he does reign forever. For he has the technology and wisdom. And so, if Loki were to go and work for the Disney Corp in some sort of weird quasi government corp, uh, uh, interacted with uh, public service. Uh, thing, working at this new Avengers HQ would uh, uh, require me to, of course, unleash next generation technologies. And of course, heroes have to be associated with this in some way. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that stupid piece of crap on top of Avengers, that fake prop, with a real microwave ship, the super sci-fi for real. I mean, why have a prop? I mean, how are you going to rescue anybody and set an example with a prop? on top of the Avengers HQ. I mean, if the heroes show up, you know, how are they going to show up? In a prop? No. The prop doesn't go anywhere. But my microwave ship shows up just in the nick of time and delivers Time. And delivers heroes, you know, that look like something out of a science fiction or a fantasy movie. I, I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. There's that one movie called The Avengers. Yeah. It's going to be like that. Just not fake anymore. All right, evil is as evil does. And I am this evil, and you are that dumb. All right, so here's what's up, Zimbara. I mean. You can't expect somebody to finally go on camera and, uh, you know, do a memoir all or whatever, um, uh, you know, without understanding some foundational facts of what it is you're looking at and why you should look at it very carefully from, like, you know, 12 different angles to get proper perspective as to what's actually happening. As opposed to, let's say, supposing what may or may not be actually happening. I was, at my foundations, doomed. I was damned and sure to be dead at a very young age. But terrible things happened to me. And, uh... Strange solutions, or stranger things, ended up happening, which, uh, at first glance, were pretty horrible, uh, led to something else miraculous happening, for lack of a better term, uh, 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 leading to, I guess you'd say, a positive outcome? Anyway, those bad things have accumulated enough in pattern over a period of time. Now, 
there's about to be a really big positive outcome, and I'm going to help produce this. Uh, lots of people who are really upset and or afraid right now will soon be very pleasantly surprised um, that uh, uh, we can uh, uh, not just look at the cake, but we can actually eat the cake, and there's enough to share for everybody. And there's enough to share for everybody. And there's enough to share for everybody. Not just look at the cake, but we can actually eat the cake. And there's enough to share for everybody. Now, uh, what does that have to do with my foundations, okay? Um, trying to explain things to you works best working backwards because it's so far beyond your comprehension. Um, so this. When you're raised by people, uh, like, you know, Dr. Mindbender and the, the Duke, who happens to be an evil G.I. Joe, um, uh, that does the impossible, and then, uh, you know, you put that pedophile shit in his house, uh, and you were expecting what to happen? Uh, um, while he was trying to save me as a reformed networker? I mean, oh, what was the government thinking? Uh, you know, I mean, the, uh, when, when you're raised by, I mean, his name is, he's literally called Dr. Mind Bender. Duke does the impossible to, like, save the day. Or whatever it takes. Uh, you know, and, you know, so when you're raised by people like this, uh, the fact that you're getting somebody who wants to make the world a better place um, uh, should be surprising. Um, but usually what happens is when you're surrounded by this kind of thing, it's malignant. Uh, and there's, no, there's nothing really to discover uh, that there was some good behind it, or some good intention, uh, that just nobody was seeing. And so the solution you're not seeing here is this. Uh. Since I know all the bad things that can happen, I know where to find them. And nobody else with your best interests in mind is trying to do anything about it. What is this? What is this? Lucifer is number one? In the U.S.? Look at this. Look at this. How did this happen? How did this happen? After all I've done, Lucifer is number one in the U.S. today. What? What is this? Okay. So, obviously, I'm going to have to do something about this.
It's going to be serious. Starting with this. Let's get this clear. See what this is all about. This is wizard battles. More specifically, space wizard battles. For supremacy of this planet. Okay? See? These two people. That's me and my brother Thor. I'm Loki. Now that we've cleared up that this is wizard battles, and not just a bunch of stupid, violent, angry nonsense, Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. I got my own TV show. So the groundwork is basically already laid. Remember, low key reigns forever.